this is the Vegan Anarchist and in this video it's about the whole minimum wage debate and why we don't need to fight for 15. We need to fight against capitalism for socialism. Let's do this! Alright, why, why not, why abolish capitalism instead of just fighting for 15? You may ask. Well, here's when well, capitalism is derived. Let's just give you a, a. Let me explain how it kind of works. Let's say I apply for a job at I don't know. Uh, uh, at say at say Chrysler. I don't know why I fucking Chrysler. But Chrysler. And I. They ask me how much you want to you want to what be paid. And I say fifteen dollars an hour. They, they will, we all know that they're not gonna pay me unless they can get more than fifteen dollars out of me than than what they pay me. Because if not, if they, it's just fifteen dollars, then of course it's just it won't mean it won't basically mean it will basically be nothing. It will, it will cancel each other, but it has to be more. Less than the company loses money more than, than they make money. And where does that money go? Pays the boss CEOs, the board of directors, the managers. All those people get paid by, by let's say if I work money. So, and the average worker's productivity is over $20 an hour. But where does our money go? Because we have the money, we have wealth that have been created over the past hundreds of years in capitalism. But the wealth isn't mostly with people in the bottom. The wealth is mostly at the people at to one percent, the people who own every own, own the factories, the stores. So in essence, not only do you have when you hike the minimum wage. You might have to worry about some people being unemployed, that workers will cut back your hours. In fact, they did that when Obamacare, where they have to get health insurance, so they gave, instead of 40 hours, 39 hours, so that they would have to pay to give people health insurance. We already see the companies who do whatever it takes to literally save, to make more money for themselves and to screw you, to screw us off. Solution is the workers take control. We, we, instead of having bosses and CEOs and the board of directors, us workers are our own bosses. We are our own directors and instead of a board of directors or managers decide how the shop is going to be run, who often doesn't even step in the shop, we can go and workers can go in a council and decide where we're gonna get the materials, what's gonna be produced, and all the stuff that goes along with production and distribution, instead of having to worry about 15 people and a board of director or whatever number it is, or basically, instead, instead of the bosses, we have the power. Because if we protest, if we stop working, this whole system winds to a fucking halt, and we all know this, that we are being screwed. If you're a worker, let me repeat again. No matter what wages your boss is paying you, chances are you being paid less than what you are making. And guess what? No minimum wage type would ever fix that because the whole incentive is to make money off of you more than what they pay you. So, so in order to fight for 15, or no, socialism, or even communism, we ha which is what I'm going to define here as, as workers or the people controlling the means of production, or in case means of production, means of production is, so anybody don't know, anything that goes into a product or a service, if workers and the people control that, then we decide what the wealth is. Then not them. You see? But how do we get there? I say we get a general strike. We strike, go on strike. We have not just 
strike, a wildcat strike. We need a general strike. If anything we need is a nationwide general strike that will bring this whole economy to a halt. Because half of American workers don't even get paid 30,000 years. Half of them don't even make that much. They're being screwed. The bosses are taking advantage of you. If you're assuming you're a worker, and we got to reclaim it. Because if we don't, automation under capitalism will mean you lose your job, or may lose your job. Under socialism, it just means more vacation time and you still get fed and all the stuff you work for. And, it, and that's what I'm saying. $15 an hour is a non-starter. We have to fight for the golden cost. That is us, the people, the workers, controlling what goes into a private service with our own labor, with our own brains and muscles, with our own decision making. No more bosses, no more cops, who, by the way, bring forces, if you try to collect from your workplaces what you do, you, you get chased by the blue guys, you know, and harassed and beat up. But no more now, we should run this economy. No more bosses. In conclusion, the minimum wage fight is a non-starter. If anything, not only we should control means of production, I say we go further and we should abolish the wage system and we decide with planning, and not just central planning, but like as communities and workers, with the aid of computer and the internet and amongst ourselves, decide who, how are we going to distribute our to from what we produce to who needs them. In essence, capitalism is unfair and exploitive, and, if, and raising them which $15 won't, won't change that. Anything they're gonna make you work harder or find a way around it. So in essence, seize the means of production. This is the vegan anarchist. No me, no milk, no masters. See ya! Peace, revolution, viva la revolution.